election day falls on 17th May this year. Now, why it is important for us? Hypertension is the biggest silent killer in the world. There are almost 33% of patients above the age of 30 are suffering from hypertension. But they do not know about the disease because most of the time it is asymptomatic. Now, how do we diagnose hypertension? Most of the patients, unless they go for regular checkup, they cannot diagnose hypertension. Any patient who has blood pressure of more than 185 is designated as hypertension. And those who are between 125 to 130 and diastolic PP of 80 to 90, they are pre-hypertensive. So if you are following up regularly with your uh, a family physician or your consultant and doing your regular checkup, then you will be able to pick up hypertension early in life. And what do you do next and why you should treat hypertension? Now, hypertension is the cause of cardiac disease, kidney disease, and it can cause strokes also. So when you treat hypertension very well, you prevent heart disease, you prevent kidney disease, and you prevent strokes in future. Now, what is the treatment? It is not always that you start patients on medical therapy. There are so many things you can do to control hypertension even before you start medication. The important thing you need to do is to lose weight, to reduce salt in the diet, don't take processed food oil, papers, chutneys, bread, biscuits which are very high in salt, avoid them. Stop smoking or don't take tobacco in any form. Reduce your alcohol intake, reduce your weight, do regular exercises, take more fruits and vegetables in your diet and reduce large amount of animal proteins if you are consuming. So this becomes the preventing part, prevention part, rather the diet and the exercise. Second important thing you can do is lifestyle changes is to sleep well, at least seven hours a day. If once you have done this for two to three months, after that check again. If your blood pressure has still not come down, then you have to start on medical treatment. Before starting medical treatment, you must consult your physician and do basic investigation for hypertension. And if you are obese, then it is your weight-related hypertension. But the investigations include urine routine, your CBC, your kidney profile, your ECG, 2D echo, X-ray chest, sonography of kidneys, and thyroid function test, and rule out diabetes. Once you have done this basic test, most of the time you would come to know the cause of your hypertension. You meet your family physician after you have controlled your uh, uh, reversible causes like lifestyle changes. You start the patient on drug therapy. Drug therapy can be either diuretics, it can be calcium channel blockers or ACRPs. Depending upon the age of the patient and the sex of the patient, whether they are likely to become pregnant or not, whether they have any other associated condition, your physician will decide whether you should start on ACRB or you should start on calcium channel blockers or diuretics. And some cardiac patients need to undertake beta blockers with salt restriction and diuretics. So the therapy will be decided by, the, by your physician. Now, the important thing when you start medical therapy is not to stop medicines. The routine uh, uh, protocol is that your primary physician who is treating your hypertension only reduces the medicine or increases the medicine. But when you go to some other doctor for your blood pressure checkup, at that time it should not happen that it tells you to stop medicines and then you never go back to your family physician or a doctor to check your blood pressure whether it is again gone up or it is even normal. So it is essential to monitor your blood pressure after you reduce the drug or you stop the drug. 
and this is an important message to all that blood pressure since it is asymptomatic it is easily missed and people come with complications of blood pressure like heart disease kidney failure and stroke this is an important preventable disease and we should aim to achieve good control of blood pressure to prevent major diseases in future thank you